Here he is, the great Mazinga. As we back out here, and as promised, here is the tour of my spray booth. Now you guys have to check out this awesome, fairly new spray booth. Uh, I was searching for the proper product, and a lot of the spray booths for scale modeling is rather small. And uh, in $90, $100, all built in, very nice, but I needed more space. I always liked more space. And I came across the spray shelter. It is, this is what it came in. Can you see how skinny? It's like a pop-up tent for kids almost. And uh, those campers that they sell for your closet that pop open with spring loads. You know, it came in this. I'm not really, it's portable, but I guess if I need to move it, I can move it. But I don't want to. And here it is. I laid it, popped it up, about three and a half, four feet high. I just placed it on its old folding table. It comes, all of this is attached. This base is attached, and it's this light white color, so the light actually shines in um, perfectly. And it's being such an open area, I mean, let's grab Mazinga here for a moment. You know, really show you the perspective. I mean, that's a lot of room for me to spray, you know, and particularly you want to go past but that's the joy of this thing is the size and actually the cost so what did we do for the exhaust well as you can see in the little booklet here can you see the picture see the flap in the back it had this trap door in the back right here and I popped it open and I knew the exact size that it was. It was a window fan that I use with reversible blades, you know. That's it turned on. You're ready to go. What I did was I bought uh, one of these. It was like a couple bucks at the hardware. Cut it in half so I'll get two filters. You pick the side of the fan that blows in and out, obviously. You know, I see which way it was blowing and popped it in here. Put a little bit of a seal around it with some duct tape. I'll turn off the fan, all right, capture it up. The mist is so fine, I, 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 sh I spray acrylics at a low air pressure that this trapped doesn't even get on the fan. I, uh, to capture what I could in the back, I took this old box. Let me see if I can pan out for you. See it? So it blows into this box. These are a couple air vents, but it's not that strong. But uh, as I looked, there's nothing in the box. I've sprayed several projects so far and uh, nothing. So it really does capture most in those filter pads. And having the surface cover everything is another bonus. It's all included and uh, really a must own. I got this on Amazon. If you guys want one, it's a spray shelter. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. I'll send it to you. There's three sizes. One's actually so big, it puts, so you can put a chair in it and spray it for your house furniture. So, uh, you go with whatever size you guys think you need. If you're going to use it for more things, auto parts and whatnot, you know, take the next level up. Uh, the next level up actually has a big square fan cutout for, uh, you know, large window fans, box fans. So, anyway, that's my setup. Uh, you can see I already started practicing with my spoons. That's clear blue. It's clear blue over, let's see, over gunmetal. Let's see. This is clear blue over titanium gold by Altamia, Altamia paints. And that's the uh, metallic blue paint they make that I am actually working on. Uh, this here Gypsy Rider. I sprayed these. This is the original color, this dark blue. And then I sprayed it this color. Um, I did it on the runners because I'm going to do touch-ups when I'm done anyway, so you won't see any nubs. But that's this color. And then, of course, I did red over titanium, clear red over titanium. And then this is clear red over the white spoon, and I did a little edging to get used to my new airbrush. Uh, I keep my gloves here, big package of plastic gloves. And right next to it, I got this little portable, I think it's a laptop table. I think it's a Walmart item. It's been here for a while. Uh, this is my compressor. Check out how quiet. It's got its own tank, so actually 
set it for 20 pounds and uh, it fills up fast and uh, the damn thing lasts a while. It can keep brushing before it even turns back on again. So that's another good bonus. Um, let it fill up, holds it in the tank, and boy, you can get it almost half a mile done before it even turns back on again. And even then, it only turns on for about 30 seconds. Um, this is my gun. I use a Iwata a Neo. I, I'm a trigger guy, so I went with the trigger. Uh, there's no holder for this because of the trigger. A lot of the a lot of the racks to hold the guns didn't quite fit. I was hooking it, and it dropped the other day. And I says, "Oh, I gotta make something." So what I did was, I took this wire, and it goes all the way under here. I looped it and taped it to the bottom of this cardboard, and this sits on top of it. And I just folded it just right here. See, it's on an angle, and I put black tape around it to uh, keep it from marking up. I don't want to mark up the chrome. Well. Keep it as nice as I can for a while. Plus, it's a little softer, not clinging as it goes down. There's the water trap. Um, all right, next to it, I keep uh, homemade airbrush cleaner right there, and airbrush cleaner in here. I use two different resources to uh, deliver it to what I'm cleaning. And I got these uh, paper towel stands. I keep paper towel nearby. The stands were at the dollar store. There's my other one. I keep one near my model area and one there here. Now, I kept cleaning out the gun, you know, when I'm spraying it or shooting it with that other bottle into the cup and blowing it out. Don't don't spend your money on those $30 jars that you shoot to, to clean it out with. Just take an old box. I think the compressor came in this and blow some out in the box. I got the Kleenex inside there and tissues. And then uh, when you clean it out, the cup, like I said, you're going to spray it. But then uh, I blast some through. You don't want to blast all of it out, believe it or not. You just want to spray and blast into the needle that you can see exposed. So you're left with a lot of stuff inside. So what I did was you want to dump out what you got. All right? There goes our cat. So what I did was I went to the dollar store again. And I got the idea because I was using plastic cups. Is get a glass. Just get a, a coffee mug. Ceramic. A dollar. All right? Filled it up with Kleenex and tissue. That tissue. Now when I go to dump in my contents, it just gets absorbed in there, right? The acrylic paint, and then you, when you're done with it, it's easy to clean. You just wipe this out with hot water and uh, rubbing alcohol, and you got a clean jar. I was going through too many cups of dumping it out. So that turned out to be a bit of a bonus. Uh, just walking through that dollar store, and you get a lot of ideas. But uh, that is, uh, that's, primarily, that's primarily what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, this is a really a terrific air booth, and um, it's highly recommended. One of the better purchases overall. Certain things everybody needs, you know, a work mat. I like a bigger area, so this is a much larger work mat. And uh, my instruction stand, which I love. Uh, I'm building the uh, Gypsy Rider now, so I took the sprues and I put them on this. Depends on the size of the kit. I can use this to lay the sprues each level, but it's a smaller kit. There's only, there's only a handful of sprues in this thing. Was there four? So, and then as I cut stuff away that I didn't want that was left, I put it in this little container, which I think is an old uh, Kentucky chicken. I think it's an old coleslaw container I washed out and kept. Try and keep everything, you guys, that you think you can use. I got these mixings. Dollar store. Little shot glasses. I think they're for desserts. Now I can mix paint in them and then clean them because... As I said, acrylics clean easy. Instead of throwing away dozens of these little cups, the Dixie cups, and I could just clean them out. I even got these bowls for a dollar, for four of them, these glass bowls for mixing. Now I can mix easy in a glass bowl without throwing away a cup. These are plastic if you do want to do a, a throwaway. Those are also came in that stack for a buck. Um, here is my lining tool, which just came in from China, uh, Japan, I believe, Mr. Hobby. And check out this lining tool panel lining for when I'm panel lining my kits. See my panel lines? This little baby, can you see it? Two sizes. And and you, you put your, to me, a panel line liquid on your kit. And then this acts as a Q-tip, a reusable Q-tip. And it's pretty accurate. If you want to get smaller, you got a smaller detail. And then you start rubbing down. Look at the panel lines on this guy I did. Look at that work. So that's a, this is a great little object. And if you can't get these, if you cannot find that little guy, you want to go with, watch out for Mazinga here, you want to go with these. These are Tamiya 
Yes, Tamiya makes everything. They even make Q-tips. Look at these Q-tips, though. Fine, finely woven, but look, woven, but look at the tip. It's a nice, sharp point tip that really lets you get in finely also. If you can't get the other ones, then just grab these Tamiya Q-tips. That's, that's another great tip. Uh, anyway, guys, this was primarily to show you guys my air booth. And uh, the spray booth is terrific. As I said, I'll send in the links. You're going to get a filter pad, cut it in half, put it over this fan. I don't even think the fan was 20 bucks. Um, and you reverse the fan. It fits perfect. Um, and it's just... Uh, it's the setup for me, that's for sure. So anyway, that's my two cents worth. And uh, let me guys know if you have any comments or questions on anything I showed you. A little bit of a grand tour of uh, my desk a little bit too. But that's another video I put up. And uh, I put yellow harrow next to uh, the yellow Z. So uh, that's it for now, guys. We're back to Mazinga. And uh, we'll talk soon on the next video. Maybe we'll do a live build. There's a shot of Mikazuki. And uh, thanks for sharing uh, your time with me, guys. And uh, we'll talk soon.